Anyone who says there is no God is a liar. Simple, sweet, complete, and honest. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. I know every atheist that I've ever met, just about every one of them, very few, but just about every atheist is a, is a damn liar. And you know you are. And you're evil, you're wicked, you're vile, and you're liars. And you don't want to be told that by somebody else. Well, isn't that too bad? Isn't that just too freaking bad? All of this world that says there is no God are liars. Total, willful, and complete. There is no such thing as unconscientious stupidity when it comes to this. This is conscious, willful stupidity. Thank you for making this video, Glenn. I, I've been meaning to make a video like this myself, you know, for a while now. One that just bashes atheists, just attacks them, and it says all these, you know, horrible things about them. Because they deserve it. It's all true. It appears that you've beaten me to the punch. It actually appears you've beaten me to the punch multiple times. But in any case, I'd like to expand on what you're saying. You are absolutely right. They are evil. Atheists are evil. They are liars. They, they, they lie. They, they lie compulsively, in fact. They, they lie all the time. They lie on their taxes. They, they lie on everything. They get tax breaks they shouldn't. They, they often don't even pay their taxes. That's how evil they are. You know, Christians, we don't do that. We always pay our taxes. Kent Hovind was set up. That was a damn lie. He paid his taxes on time every time. But, but atheists? No. They are evil. Evil. They see a child biking and they throw a stick in the spokes just to flip it over in because they're evil like that. Why would you do that unless your God was trash? He wouldn't. But they do. Okay? They are just evil. When they get in an elevator, they press all the buttons just to make you late. That's what they do. That's what they do, all right? They, 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 they help an old lady across the street. They kick her in the back halfway through and run across the street. They are evil. When, they, they're, when they're holding the door open for elderly people, they let go at the last second so it smacks them in the face and breaks their nose. They are evil, evil people. They are. You know, I, I swear to God, when they're driving alone, they drive in the carpool lane out of pure spite for God. They are evil. You are absolutely right, Glenn. Oh, and one more thing. God doesn't believe in atheism. God doesn't believe in atheists. Now you see that? God doesn't even believe in you. You don't believe in God. You don't believe he exists. Well, God doesn't believe that you exist. That's right. I've heard Glenn say it. I've heard Mike Mickey with Rapture Alert say it. I've said it. It's true. The Bible is clear. You don't even exist. Okay? God hates you, and you don't even exist, and you hate God because you don't believe in Him. Alright? You know what you need to do? All you atheists, you need to come into existence. That's right. You need to come into existence by accepting Jesus, or you need to get the hell out. Right now. Yeah. Oh, oh and Glenn, Glenn, I messaged you like five times yesterday. I, I was waiting in front of my computer screen just waiting for you to message me for like three hours. Why aren't you getting back to me, Glenn? Come on. Jesus loves you. I love you. We all love you over here. Come on. Get back to me. You know, I know you want to. Do it for Jesus. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Satan intercepted the messages. I don't know. But uh, if you got them, get back to me. Seriously. Amen.